Hi, welcome to another video. So, most probably, Google is launching three new models, either today or tomorrow. This is because the Google Dev Rel guy, Logan, posted on Twitter saying three times Gemini, which is what they usually post before launching new Gemini models. But this time, there are three Geminis, which means it could either be Gemini 3 or three new Gemini 2.5 models. And the three Gemini 2.5 models make sense because someone asked in the comments if it was going to be the Gemini 3 model, but they said it is not going to be Gemini 3. Then they said some more stuff about what it will be, and based on this, there are basically three models that you'll see come out. The models are most probably going to be Gemini 2.5, Flashlight, Gemini 2.5 Deep Think, and Gemini 2.5 Pro, generally available as well, and Gemini 2.5 Flash, generally available. This is because, some days ago, some models were leaked on their AI Studio platform that showed Gemini 2.5 Pro will become generally available, while Gemini 2.5 Flash will also become generally available, and Gemini 2.5 Flash Lite will also come out as well. Gemini 2.5 DeepThink is also supposed to come out, because as you might know, the Gemini team talked about it at the I.O. event, and since then, it's been talked about. But recently, like a day ago, it started appearing in Gemini for many people, which means it might also be very close to launch for people to try out. This is going to be good to see, because the Gemini 2.0 flashlight model is something that I really liked, and the 2.5 flash model is something that I have been looking forward to. It will be cool to see when it comes out. It is also a good time now to make the 2.5 Pro and 2.5 flash models generally available, because the rate limits and stuff with preview models get quite messed up. We might also start to see the free tier of Gemini 2.5 Pro with these models as well, because currently there's no free tier except the AI Studio, which is free and unlimited. But they have said that it will also become API-based in a while. They have also said that a free tier for Pro will come out soon enough, which will be pretty cool to see when that happens, because I have been waiting for it for a while now, and it will be cool if it comes out. I have been looking forward to these models as well, and if you remember my previous video, then you'll know that I had told you guys about some new models that have been popping up in LM Arena. This makes me believe that the Prowl Ridge model will be the flashlight model, and the Blacktooth model will be the new 2.5 Pro, or the Deep Think variant as well. But we'll see about that, or it may be that the generally available 2.5 Pro model is going to be the Blacktooth model, while the Deep Think will be the Kingfall model, which was spotted on Google AI Studio for a while, and was actually really amazing, and it also took a while to respond as well. So, it might be that. Now, before proceeding, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Tools. Ninja Tools is a crazy AI platform where you pay once and access all AI models and agents at one place. It combines all the best AI models and experiences. It allows you to save over $600 per year compared to having separate subscriptions. You get access to Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and a ton of other models in one subscription. You even get some more cool options like AI video generation, image generation, music generation, and document chats. You can also use their playground to compare multiple AI responses at once. The best part is that it just starts from $11 per month that gives you more than 1,000 chat messages, 30 AI image generation, and 5 music generation, while there is also some even more advanced plans if you need them. Make sure to check Ninja Tools out and save some money on your subscription while you're at it. Now back to the video. If the DeepThink model comes out, then it will be cool to see if this new model will be a competitor to something like O3 Pro, where it could think for longer times and be a bit better than the original Gemini 
2.5 Pro model as well, in general, and for coding tasks, which is something that I'm excited for. It seems that it will get rolled out soon, and even for free on Google AI Studio, as long as it remains free. I'm hoping that they don't make the AI Studio API-based with these releases as well, and I hope that it gets a bit delayed, because I really like AI Studio and how it is free and everything. But we'll see about that as well. Google's AI models have been really good. They work well, but the recent O3 price drop made me switch from it, though the 1 million context window has been something that I have really liked with it over the O3 model. I have tried Blacktooth and Kingfall when they were available, which makes me believe that these models will be quite good over the previous iterations. So, that will be cool to see. DeepThink can also be a good challenger to OpenAI's O3 Pro, because their pricing is something that they nail at all times, and it will be really good to see how their models perform. The charts and benchmarks that they shared before showed that it was a big leap from the original Gemini 2.5 Pro, which was available at that time. This means it can be a really strong candidate for being a deep-thinking model. Like, the Opus and O3 Pro are really costly models with smaller context windows, whereas this can be a pro-level model with a million context window, which is not yet seen in models of those calibers. So, there's that. I have been a fan of Gemini models from the start because of their free tiers. Since the Gemini 1.5 Flash, I had been using that model for every small task, and the free tier was extremely generous. However, since the 2.5 Pro model, they basically removed the free tier for the Pro models. Though, it was still available on the AI Studio, but now, with it being generally available, we can start to see a new free tier for the API come out soon as well, which will be cool to see and really awesome for smaller tasks, and really useful for many tasks where you don't want to pay. Also, I hope that they make a good model out of the newer version, and now I'm looking forward to the models being launched today. I hope that they also make the Gemini Diffusion models generally available soon as well, because I've been using it, and it is actually really good if you ask me. That is mainly about these new models as well. I was seeing this stuff, and it will probably get launched today or tomorrow. So, look out for it as well. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments as well. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video.